Okay, I just wanted to very quickly talk about um, something that a lot of people are talking about, actually. The thing that happened between Kanye West and Taylor Swift. I'm going to talk about it in a calm way, which not a lot of people are doing. Um, I have a lot of opinions about um, basically, basically Kanye West um, and Taylor Swift. Kanye West, in my opinion, is very full of himself. And to tell you the truth, I don't really see where his talent is. A lot of people say he's like the most talented person ever. And when I listen to his, his music and the kind of things that he puts out, it's just, you know, not very good in my opinion. I know that's going to make a lot of people angry, but I just don't think what he creates is very good. Tell me now, can you make it past your Caspers so we can finally fly off into NASA? You was always the cheerleader of my dream. The new slick Rick, they say I move too quick, but we can't let this moment pass us. Let the hourglass pass right into ashes. Let the wind blow the ash right before my glasses. So I wrote this love letter right before my classes. I could have got his ass. Someone is only. It's, it's just me saying that, you know. And Taylor Swift, on the other hand, as, you know, she started writing at like 16 years old or 15 years old. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert on Taylor Swift or Kanye West. But Taylor Swift, you know, is talented, but I think is overrated. Neither one of them really, I think, deserves as much attention as they do get. So the thing that happened at the VMAs, if you haven't heard, is he stole the mic from her and basically said she didn't deserve the award and gave it back to her and walked away. After he immediately after he said that, you know, Beyonce should have got it, he was booed and he ran off the stage. Um, in my opinion, that was just typical of him. And he probably thought, you know, he was gonna have a lot of supporters as soon as he said that he was gonna get a standing ovation or something. That's what I think he was was going through his mind. Um, and I guess Taylor Swift was upset about it when Beyonce got up to accept her award. She called Taylor Swift back up to the stage and had her complete um, her acceptance speech without interruptions from Kanye West. Well, this is showing that she also thought it was out of line. Basically, everybody knows he's in the wrong for this one. Uh, he went on Jay Leno. Kanye West went on Jay Leno, and immediately, you know, he came on the stage and looked like he was gonna apologize and looked like he was sad about it or whatever. He went into this speech about how he made a mistake, and as soon as he did it, he knew it was wrong. He knows he's in the wrong. He knows he's in the wrong. And Jay Leno said, well, when did you realize you were in the wrong? And he said, as soon as I gave the mic back and she didn't keep saying her acceptance speech. And that got a laugh from the audience. In my opinion, I would have had more respect for him if he would have stuck to his opinion. Like, that would have been typical Kanye West, like, just thinking that he's just completely right, completely the best thing that ever happened. You know, his opinion is the opinion. And, um, if he would have just said, I meant when I said Beyonce should have won and I was outraged that she didn't, that would have been fine. But he's sitting there saying that, you know, he knew he was wrong and he's sorry. And then he goes on about how... It's his fault because of his dream of what award shows should be like. So that means his dream is what he thinks should win, should win. And that's his dream of everything that he thinks is good, should win. That's just not what somebody should say, you know. That's what my dream of an award show is that Beyonce would win. So he was upset because of that, apparently. Um, and then Jay Leno, out of nowhere, starts talking about Kanye West's mother who died in May of last year, and says, what does he think his mother would think about it? Okay, one, isn't it off limits to just start talking about people's parents, and, like, I wouldn't talk about a rap star's mom. And secondly, I would never, and recommend that no one, talk about a rap star's dead mom, and what they think they would think of their actions, you know, especially if they did something bad. What, like... Seriously, Jay Leno, what would you think of your mother's actions when you stole the microphone from that poor girl and said she didn't deserve her award? I have thought that he would have flipped out, but he got emotional and upset and said that he really didn't answer the question, in my opinion. But I think that was kind of a strange question from Jay Leno, saying that, what would your dead mom think about this? That was just throwing 
woo, that was just throwing it right in his face, you know. I was going to maybe write something about this, as something that I just wanted to say, like, because I've watched the video of the award show, I've watched the video of him on Jay Leno, and it's just something that I had opinions on and thought people might have thought the same thing. Uh, this video won't stay on long because you know next week not many people are going to be talking about it. So let me know if you agree with me. And thank you for watching. Bye.